No. How many times do I have to tell you no? Are you done? Yeah. Isn't he going to suspect something when he sits down on his computer? <laughs> He's totally clueless about anything but rope, believe me. Can he come today at uh, 1.30? He can. Hey, did you hear him? He just made an appointment for 1.30. Uh, I heard. Uh, I'll set his clock no. back a little no. bit so that he'll no. be sitting in his chair no. when the client comes in. And no. he, he always sits in his chair with his feet up before he has a client. Great. Let's double check one last time. Okay. No. That's uh, good. Some of these portals in here are listed as UNS. I can't find anywhere in here what that means. Probably not important. No. I still can't believe you found that at the library. All right, we're still a couple degrees off. Help me move his desk and chair a little bit to the north-northeast. Which way is that? Um, uh, left. Can he, can he find his way here? Good. No. No, no, no. He's from out of town. Just tell him to take a cab. How accurate do you think that book is? I guess we'll find out in about ten minutes. We should be the ones to go. Don't you want to see where he goes? If he goes? Heck no. He can tell us when he gets he back. If he even notices. I've got something here that's going to knock his socks off. Yeah. No. No, no, no. Listen, I gotta go. Yeah. No. No, how many times do I have to tell you no? Yeah. All right, what was it this time? Same as last time, Joe? Similar problem. It's adjusted now. I had to make some changes to the UDP port forwarding through the yeah. firewall. No, whatever. Uh, check this out, kids. <sighs> Looks like thread, doesn't it? It's not. It's super rope has the same strength as a six inch diameter steel cable. It's gonna knock the socks off of it. That's fantastic, Mr. Cuthbert. That's uh, gonna put the rope company back in business. Uh, Mary, uh, I have an appointment with Mr. Sanso. Could you send him in as soon as he's here? You know, I'm a little worried about that 1.30 appointment. I can keep an eye on it from my desk. I can watch Cuthbert from there, too. Joe, are you watching this? Yeah, I'm watching. Oh crap, his client is getting in the elevator now. Well, he's too early. Uh, can you saw the elevator for a couple minutes? Yep, hang on. Yeah. Done. Keep your eye on Mr. Cuthbert, all right? Joe, he may be going for the throw yourself out the window technique just to prove the strength of his rope. Suppose he's not in his chair at 1.30. All right, we'll get him on the phone quick. Tell him the guy's on his way up. Hello? Uh, Mr. Sanso is on his way up, Mr. Cuthbert. Oh, that's great, Mary. Yeah, send him in as soon as you can. I got something here that's going to knock his... Uh, <sighs> Joe? Holy moly, Mary, did you see that? Spring Mr. Santo from the elevator. Um, I'll just tell him that he got his days mixed up. He, he can come back tomorrow. I'm coming up. Mr. Sanso? 
Yes, I have a 1.30 appointment with Mr. Cuthbert, and there appears to be something wrong with your lift. Mr. Cuthbert told me the appointment was for tomorrow. He's gone for the day. There's an interesting ether smell coming from beyond this office door. Oh, that's, that's the new rope. It goes away after a while. Come back tomorrow. I think you'll be very interested in what Mr. Cuthbert has to show you. In my off hours, I'm interested in a variety of things. Things that smack of the beyond, if you catch my drift. And there's something beyond that office door that beckons to me. R- rope? You and Mr. Cuthbert can talk all about that tomorrow. No, no, there's there's the waft of a weft of a compromised and unsustainable portal beyond this office door. Please, if you don't let me enter, I fear that everything can and will go down the tubes. Can I help with anything? Oh, Joe, you're here. Please show Mr. Sanso to the elevator. His appointment is for tomorrow. Mr. Sanso, please follow me. Young man, you would be ushering me in the other direction. If only you would wake up and smell the ether. Mr. Sanso could smell the portal, Joe. How weird is that? Almost as weird as Mr. Cuthbert disappearing down one. Hope he didn't hurt himself. Look at this, Joe. I can follow the rope down into the chair. Are you crazy? Don't do that. We have to get Mr. Cuthbert back. It was wrong for us to use him as a guinea pig. Well, who would have known known the portal would have actually opened up? We could have gone instead. We couldn't. We couldn't have. He, He always keeps his door locked. I have to get him back. Give me one of your carabiners. Wait. Wait. We should... Oh. Oh, I can't watch that. Oh. Mary, oh crap, crap, no, crap, no. Mary, what do I do? What do I do? Uh, uh, Joe, there you are. Look, it's spring here. This is the rope. Mr. Cuthbert is over there. It's no wonder. What are you talking to? Gentlemen, allow me to demonstrate the pencil strength of this super rope. Don't let the size of this rope fool you. It it can hold up uh, a grand piano. Mary, where's Mr. Sanso? These gentlemen seem to know him. Um, I tried to explain about our appointment, but they don't have a concept of time. Or watches. The tall man borrowed mine. Uh, I spoke with Mr. Sanso, and he thought the appointment was for tomorrow. Are you all right, Mr. Cuthbert? Yes, absolutely. Why shouldn't I be? Look what they've been using for a rope. It's inexcusable. Apparently they swing back and forth on some bottomless gorge with this. Uh, It's the only way they can get to and from their village. Apparently there's a lot of fatalities. How do you know what they're saying? Sign language. Joe, can you fix this? These gentlemen want to buy the super rope. I think I'd rather give it to them than sell it to Mr. Sansa. Who cannot keep an appointment? What would they pay you with? It doesn't look like they have very much. Goodwill, Mary. These gentlemen have an excellent eye for rope, and they'll tell their friends. Uh, But the rope company gets to keep all the rights to the super rope, right? Of course I'm not stupid. Who is that? (laughs) Ah! Thought I detected the unmistakable scent of portal and unwashed bodies. It's a traditional greeting. It's how uh, we greet one another after we haven't seen each other for a while. Wait, you live here? Well, I used to. Until, oh, would have been about ten years ago. I was swinging on a vine. I was about to smack into a cliff face. I was expecting instant death on impact, and instead I entered a portal. Ten years. And then 
There was that unmistakable scent of my homeland emanating from Mr. Cuthbert's office that made me realize it was possible to go home again. <laughs> hey, how I done it? Come on, come on. This is Mr. Sanso. Apparently, uh, Mr. Cuthbert, why don't we head back to the office and let them all get reacquainted? <laughs> I've got to tell him, that he just missed the opportunity of a lifetime. That rope would have knocked his socks off. Yes, but you've already sold the super rope to these gentlemen. Oh, they don't even wear socks. I was really looking forward to seeing that at some point in my life. Socks getting knocked off. Have you seen my other sock and shoe? Uh, yes, they're back at the office. Now let's get you back there before you catch a cold. Uh, Joe, come on! I'm coming. They want to pay us for the rope and our watches. Nice guys. Due to the friable and fragile and intangible nature of the portal, you've only got a few minutes to get back. Good luck. Mary! Ma Mary? Did you just see that? You just follow her, Mr. Cuthbert. She knows where she's going. I don't know what I'd do without her. Neither do I. What's all this? What's going on here? Ugh. Looks like somebody tied a rope to my desk leg. Mary, you shouldn't tie rope to furniture. Somebody could get hurt. Uh, it, it wasn't <sighs> me, Mr. Cuthbert. Funny running into Mr. Sanzo at the, the park. And he knew those peculiar men. Did either of you two think they were dressed funny? Maybe they were expecting rain. Yeah, yeah, that that must have been it. Uh, yeah, you two should get going. Uh, we've got work to do. Almost forgot. I wonder what they gave us. Oh, let me see. Jeez. Oh, this is great. Should we go back for more? No way. Mr. Sonso said it's unstable. That must be what U and S mean. Yeah, it's closed anyway. Yeah, let's, let's stay away from those. Check out this one. It looks nice, and it's not too far from here. 